We are in central Alabama and it is currently 17 degrees. Last night it got down to about 11. The high yesterday was 19. Today the high is 28. So hopefully we can get some things thawed out. Um, at the campground we're at, we have a lot of people with frozen, they have frozen water hoses, frozen sewer hoses, flooded rigs. In fact, our neighbors tried to leave the uh, water running while they left and ended up their sewer hose froze and um, it overflowed into their rig, causing a little bit of a flooding situation. But I'll tell you this, one thing you'll never catch us doing is camping in a pop-up in freezing cold weather because those things are not nearly as insulated as our fifth wheel is. And uh, so yeah, hoping to uh, get all thawed out and get warm here pretty soon. It is three days post Christmas and uh, we are packing up this morning and we are headed to the beach. We are looking for warmer weather. As you can tell, everything's frosted over this morning. And uh, yeah, so right now it's about 30 degrees here in, uh, in Alabama. We're in central Alabama. And uh, <clears throat> like I said, we're headed down to the beach and we'll be there um, until we head down through uh, Florida to Orlando, potentially, potentially gonna hit the Keys, but we'll see about that. But right now this morning, I'm getting everything packed up. Emily's getting everything on the inside ready and we should be hitting the road soon. Well, probably can't hear me because all this road noise, but if you can tell right there, We've got blowout. Nathan is working on getting it changed. Me and the boys did not want to sit in the car like sitting ducks on the side of the interstate. So took the tent down there for them to play and have a boundary so they don't run out in the road. And here we are working to Get this changed, maybe. Well, here she is. Not looking great. Got this one fixed. Nathan did. Nathan put the spare on. We got some damage here. So, that's not good, but it could have been a lot worse. Glad it's on the passenger side and not the driver's side since we're on the side of the interstate. Um, yeah, things could have been a lot worse. We made it to Foley. We are out here and uh, it is sunny and 75. It is actually quite warm. Uh, the boys are riding scooters this morning, and we are just going on a walk. After nearly two years of, uh, of traveling, come on, Arch. After nearly two years of traveling, we uh, finally had it happen for the second time. We uh, had a flat yesterday on the way up here, on the way down here, really, and uh, it messed up one of our fenders. It didn't really do much other damage. I really haven't evaluated it. So when we get back over the rig, I'm gonna take a look underneath. But um, yeah, the whole the whole tread came off. Um, so part of uh, the project while we're here in Foley is probably gonna be to go ahead and um, order some, order new tires for the rig, probably get a whole new set because the tires that are on there, we've only replaced one, are probably about four years old at this point. And, um, she's due for some new, some new, uh, shoes. <laughs> You're a beautiful sight in the summer night. And you can't put up a fight in the misty light. Whew. 
I'll say this much. I understand why people, um, why snowbirds come down here in the winter because it is 70 degrees and it is only nine o'clock and I'm already sweating. But uh, first thing I wanna do this morning is to go over here and look to see what kind of damage we have from the flat tire. So it was our front tire right here that blew out. Um, this is our spare on there. Immediately I can see that we got some bent metal right here. Uh, that looks pretty good and bent. Um, but honestly, I'm not sure if that's really that big a deal. Underneath there, nothing too crazy. Um, it did break this right here a little bit. And it doesn't look like it caught anything up under here. But here, looks like when that tire came off, it ripped that piece. I'm wondering if there's anything further up under there. Oh, man. Yeah, it looks like this right here came disconnected. That shouldn't be a hard fix. That actually should be pretty easy to rewire that together. Um, everything else is looking okay. A little bit of rub up there. But yeah. All right, just got off. Just got off the phone with Mavis. They are getting us four new Goodyear endurance tires. Um, so we're getting those to replace all of our existing tires. We actually bought one tire last year when we had a blowout um, to uh, get us through. And um, so I'm gonna take that tire, we're gonna put it as our new spare and just replace all of the sort of original tires. They're about four years old at this point. Um, so I think we just need to get a fresh set. And yeah, I'm going to go to a beach house uh, that my parents have rented out uh, for our family Christmas. Uh, we're gonna do that over New Year's. All of my siblings and uh, their kids will be there and it should be a really good time uh, down here in Gulf Shores. So yeah, I think uh, we've got a big weekend planned. Lots of fun activities from maybe doing a polar plunge, jumping in the ocean in 40 degree weather and uh, maybe even um, you know watching the ball drop, doing some fun things like that. So. Stay tuned, we'll see what we do. That's what you're gonna ride? Pretend to be happy at least. Here it's a kids um, countdown to New Year's basically, but they do it at 12 p.m. instead of 12 a.m. Yeah. So we're gonna count in the New Year. They're gonna drop confetti. I don't so know. So kids can be part of the fun. Yeah. Stay up. We're not having to keep them up and have them cranky. So here we are. 
and you can see they've got festivities all right down through here. Super excited for that. So. My goodness, the bull riding line is so long. Are you gonna ride the bull? No. Yeah, we're gonna get her to ride the bull. Polar bear plunge. Not excited. It's gonna be cold. Really cold. Meanwhile, Rhett is unfazed by the cold water. We're about to be super phased by the cold water. Emily is testing the waters before getting in. Rhett, is the water cold? It's, it's not cold? You're making it warmer with the sand. Three, two, one. We 